Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you seven steps on how to elevate yourself so that you can elevate your career in 2021. So let's dive right into it. So 2020 has been one of those years that, well, we all care to forget. It has been so difficult this year. And so perhaps you are one of those people who have just really not thought about your career because you haven't had time, or perhaps you've decided that what you thought you wanted to do, well, you've now decided that you want to do something else. So today I'm going to give you seven steps on how to get back on track and ready for 2021. So the first tip to really elevating yourself for 2021 is to come up with a vision of what you want your career to ultimately be. Now, when it comes to coming up with a vision, sometimes we mistake the vision for the goals. There are a lot of channels that talk about setting goals. I talk about setting goals. But before you can set the goals, you really have to know where it is you're trying to go, what it is you're really trying to accomplish. So think about the vision that you want for your ultimate career. What do you want that to look like? So when you start thinking about it, think really broad, think really big. Do not think in terms of what you want in the immediate future, but think about what you want in the future. Now, once you've come up with the vision, you've written your vision down, then you can start thinking about your goals and various steps it's going to take in order for you to get there. So make sure you first come up with your vision. Okay, so the next tip to really elevating yourself or elevating yourself so that you can elevate your career is to become an expert in your area of expertise. Now, whatever your area is, whether you're in accounting, whether you're in finance, whether you're in IT, whatever area that you're in, your area of expertise, you want to become the expert. There has to be something about you that set you apart from everyone else that's going to help you move to the next level. Now, when thinking about becoming an expert in your area, you want to make sure that you don't just do the on-the-job training, but that you also gain some more knowledge, more skills, and you can do that. There are a number of free webinars right now. There are courses, of course, that you can pay for, and there are just a lot of free seminars. So you want to take advantage of that. You want to become the expert in your area of expertise because that's what's going to help elevate you. So the next tip to elevating yourself is to be aware of your emotional intelligence. Now what that means is that you understand your emotions and you also understand how to control your emotions and use them in a positive manner in your interpersonal relationships. You want to make sure that you understand your emotional intelligence so that you can communicate with others in a positive manner. Also so that you can contribute in a positive manner in building teams and contribute to the overall organization. I'll link a couple of books th below, some that I really enjoy on emotional intelligence. One actually has a certain survey that you can take, gives you an opportunity to see where you are, and also kind of gauge some of the areas that you need to improve okay, on. So the next tip to really elevating yourself so that you can elevate your career is to, well, sometimes you have to work for free. Now what that means is sometimes you're not going to be compensated because what you want to do is you want to volunteer for some extra assignments or perhaps you want to take on a role in an organization that relates to what you do during your day job. What that's going to do is it's going to give you some more knowledge. It's going to give you some more skills. In addition to that, it gives you an opportunity to showcase what it is that you know and what you can do. So sometimes you have to work for free. So the next tip to elevating yourself in 2021, well, you want to make sure that you get your resume ready. Now, I know if you're like some of us, you wait till the last minute in terms of your resume, you don't look at it until you need it. But in this case, you want to make sure that it is ready before you need it. So pull out that resume, start getting it together. This is a perfect opportunity because you have an opportunity to think about things that you want to include in the resume. You can think about how you want to improve your resume. Now, if you're not good at actually writing your resume, there are so many organizations and so many people that offer resume writing services and you may want to take advantage of that. This is the perfect time to get that resume, that CV ready because 
when you need it, you want to have it. So make sure that you get your resume ready. Okay, so the next tip to elevating yourself for 2021, well, that is to get Zoom ready. I know that some of us have been on Zoom calls for the last few months. However, some of us still haven't mastered the technology. You want to make sure that you master the technology so that in 2021 you're ready. There's no question about how you show up for a meeting. So you want to make sure that you master the Zoom technology. In addition to that, you want to make sure that you stage the area that you're working so that you appear like a professional. I know that can be hard, especially if you have a little bit of space, but whatever corner that you have, you just want to set it up so it looks very professional. And you also want to make sure that the lighting is pretty good because again, if you're on a Zoom call, you're given a presentation or you have an interview, you want to make sure that you show up like a professional so you want to get Zoom ready. Okay, so the last tip to really elevating yourself for 2021 really is to network. Now, you guys hear me say it all the time. I always talk about networking because networking is so important to help you stay connected to people in your area or your field of expertise. In addition to that, when you network, well, you build relationships with people and that is so important right now, especially when you don't have the opportunity to see people in person. So if you continue to network, it's really going to help you build these relationships, help you to continue to know what's going on in your area and also when some jobs come up or a position come up and is available then you get to know about certain opportunities that you may not get an opportunity to know about had you not networked. Okay guys so that is it those are the tips to elevating yourself so that you can elevate your career in 2021. I hope you've enjoyed the video thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so remember to like and also to share this video and I'll see you next time.